What's going on YouTube? KG4FJC, Jason, no hat. I left it inside. Been a long, busy day. Anyway, what we're going to get into, quit doing that because the camera refocuses. Probably doesn't want to do that. What we're going to get into is uh, we're going to show not how to, well, we're going to show a little of everything. Uh, basically, if you have an MP3 and you want to use it as a sound file on your all-star node um there's reason you I mean not to play music everybody thinks music for mp3 but uh but well, there's ways to do it um but it won't play an mp3 it won't play a wav file it has to be a ulaw file whatever that stands for i don't know don't care uh anyway so let's go ahead and get right into it let me go over here okay all right here's my desktop cluttered okay all the programs you got from hamvoip.org will come in in handy you're going to need the win scp and you're going to need putty okay um, another program that you're going to need uh, and this is how i do it you can do it different ways is audacity it's a free download so, so you can manipulate uh, audio files okay so go ahead and get logged into into uh into your uh your node here sorry it's late um get logged into your node okay and i'm already in it but where we need to go to is we need to go to uh cd space forward slash etc forward slash asterisk forward slash l-o-c-a-l local boom okay we're there and we can list and see what's in there okay this is where you probably should store most of your audio files because this is kind of where it's going to look for a lot of the ones that you're going to add okay so now that you you're in there all right let's just minimize this for right now okay now i'm not going to walk you through audacity i'm going to open it here all right you're going to get an mp3 file in here you're going to cut whatever part of it you want or the whole thing depending on what you're using okay so you're going to put your mp3 file in here and then when you're done doing whatever you want to do to it and you got the way you want it you're going to do that i gotta look over here so i can see it you're going to export and you're going to export it as a wave file okay if you've already got a wave file that's great because you don't even have to do this step but we need to make whatever audio track we need to make it into a wave file first okay i've already done that with one and then you will open up your uh win scp okay what win scp is i've still got to look over here so i can see that screen is a, a file transfer program that's all it is you'll you'll set that up it's really easy especially if you've already set up putty it'll ask if you want to use the same one uh yes you do um so what we're looking at is on this side here this is my computer and specifically double check uh we're in the music folder on the uh, on my computer okay and this side over here is your uh raspberry pi okay and i have already you know set up so i have gone through an etc asterisk local okay so this is where we're at all right it's really easy all we're going to do is is drag and drop so we're going to take this one that i have labeled cut and we're going to put it over here into that one there boom done okay so now we go back to putty and if we type ls again cut okay now that's pretty easy right yeah it is all right we're gonna go back get out of that and we're going here okay there are ones if you want to do an mp3 to U law there's other ways to do it but this is the way i do it all right you can head over to uh, uh, Ham VOIP and down towards the bottom there. Let me get my mouse on the right screen. Is the text to speech how to? Doug has done all this work for us. It's all there. All you got to do is, is read it. Some of it might be a little thing, a little over complicated, but Doug has done all the work. So, literally, hats off to Doug. Okay, so the TTS how to. Okay. The rest of it, it's great and all. But we, what we want is this line right here 
to use SOX to convert uh, the higher sample rate wave file to a UL type at 8 kilohertz playable on asterisk all star, you need this. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy. Okay. Now we're going to open up PuTTY. All right. And we're going to do that. Just right click, boom, and paste it. Okay. Well, obviously, the uh, file name is not right. Okay. We're going to use the one that that we've moved over here. In my example, it's called cut. So replace that with cut. All right, and this one here, we'll replace that with cut. Hit enter. Boom, it's done. That simple, okay? Now we're gonna go to asterisk space dash R V V V, enter. Oops, it helps if I spell it right. Let's try it again. One more V. There we go. <laughs> Misspelled. Okay. Now, I've already typed this in. Uh, so, what we're going to do is... All right. RPT space local play. That way it only plays out of your node. All right. That's important. All right. Then your node number. I'm on my repeater here. So, 471461. Okay, then the space, then you tell it where the file is. All right, it's in etc, asterisk, local, and then the file name is cut. Okay, now all you do is hit enter and it will play. So let me go back to the video there and we'll hit enter. Maybe you want to use that for an alarm or something. I don't know. There's one on YouTube's free video, free audios. So now it can play that file that started as an MP3. That's all there is to that part. That's just to make it play it. So uh, with that, uh, I'll say 7.3. And uh, next time we'll get a little bit deeper into how to actually do something with that file. But that is to get an MP3 file to a WAV file, to a ULAW file, and play it on your Raspberry Pi. So, catch you later. KG4FJC73.